Hello, welcome to the video to learn how to create and run a search using Data Scan Plus in CCH Pro System FX Tax. In this video, we will go over how to create a search package in Data Scan Plus, how to run a search, and how to view the output. I'll begin by opening Data Scan Plus. I'll log in using my CCH Pro System FX Tax user ID and password. Data Scan Plus opens and I see a list of the various search packages that already exist in the program. To create a new scan, I'll click on File and select New Search Package. The Search Package Creation window appears. This window is divided into three sections. The search terms section is where you select the items that you want to search for, or include in your search results. The criteria section, is where you drag items from the search terms section, to define what your scan will search for. And the data fields and results list section is where you define what data will be in your output. To begin, I'll click on the drop down menu in the categories field. The options that I can choose from, are profile which pulls data from the client profile. To have profile as an option to choose from, you must be licensed for client manager or practice. Keywords, which pulls data directly out of a tax return. We have some popular keywords already defined for you, and you can create custom keywords from any field in a tax return. History pulls data from the client history log. Tracking pulls data from engagement plus and government and interview are used to search for the presence of whether a government or interview form is present in a return. If you want to search for a specific field on a form, use keywords. In this video, I am going to create a search to find my clients with an adjusted gross income of $100,000 or more in their 2015 tax return, that also live in New York. To do so, I'll select keywords. After selecting keywords, Data Scan asks me to select the tax year. And I'll select 2015. Then the tax product. And I'll select individual. And the entity. And I'll select federal. The list of keywords appears. AGI is already in the list. I'll click on it and drag it down to the first line in the criteria section. For this search, I'm going to leave the match field blank. In the operator column, I'll scroll down and select the greater than or equal to symbol. Since I'm searching for clients with an AGI of $100,000 or more, I'll enter $100,000 in the value field. For amounts, I do not want to use the dollar sign, commas, or decimals. Since I also want to search for clients that live in New York, I need to add a second line to the criteria section. In the last field on each row, I can use a connector value to add criteria to the row below. When I click in the field, I can select the value of, and, or, or. Since I want to search for clients with an AGI of $100,000 or more, and, clients that live in New York, I will select, and in this field. Next. In the criteria section, I'll scroll down to home state. And I'll drag the keyword to the second line in the criteria section. Again, I'll leave the match field blank. And in the operator value column, I'll select the equal sign. After clicking in the value field, notice that the lookup value button becomes active. I'll click on it. And a list of states appears. I'll scroll down to New York and select it and press OK. I recommend using the lookup value button whenever it is active because it will ensure that the value entered in the field has the correct spelling and format. Now that I have my search criteria defined, I need to choose what I want in the output. Because I added AGI and home state to the search criteria, they are already listed in the data fields in results list section. I want the home city, state, and zip to show up in the output. So I'll drag it to the data fields in results list section. Next, 
I also want to add some client profile information to the output. So I'll change the category's value to profile. And scroll down to client ID. And drag it to the results list section. I'll do the same thing with client name. When data scan generates the report output, I want client ID and client name listed first. I'll drag client ID to the top of the list. And do the same with client name. I'm ready to save my search package now, so I'll press OK. I'll type a name. And leave the other options alone and press OK. A window appears, showing a summary of the report that I just defined. I'll close this window. I see that the search package that I just created is highlighted at the bottom of the window. To run the highlighted search, I'll click the Running Man button on the toolbar. I want to search the entire database and will click OK. The search will run. When the scan is complete, the output appears in Microsoft Excel. Notice I have two tabs at the bottom of the spreadsheet. The General Information tab shows the search criteria that I defined. I'll click the Result tab to see the results or output of the search. The results show that I have eight clients that meet the search criteria. Notice that I also have a Return ID column that I did not add to the Results list section when creating the search. The Return ID column will always show up in the output, even if you are not licensed for Client Manager or Practice. The return ID shows the tax year, tax product, client ID, and version of the return. If the spreadsheet has a third tab labeled, by past returns, the returns listed on that tab are secured or were not available at the time of the search. By default, these spreadsheets are saved to your local documents, data scan reports folder. If you want to save this spreadsheet elsewhere, Use the Save As command in Microsoft Excel to save a copy of the spreadsheet to a different folder. Thank you for watching the video on how to create a new search package in Data Scan Plus. To view more information in our knowledge base on how to use Data Scan Plus, please visit us at support.cch.com and search our knowledge base for these titles or the article numbers listed below them. Again, thank you for watching.